thank you for coming, Natalik. Congratulations with your uh, rather uh, impressive victory, um, especially at the end. It was uh, very nice. Could you please take us through the game? Sure. Um, so, yeah, it uh, started like uh, time on our Paulson, but uh, finally it ended up in scavenger. And, uh, well, so far it's all theory and rookie 8. Uh, it's uh, one of the top choice for black. There are, of course, bishop d7 and other moves here. And um, here black has a um, couple of choice, rook b8 and uh, bishop d7 and bishop f8. He chose bishop d7 and I picked 3 because I, I, sh I should not let him take knight d4 and bishop c6. And I'm threatening d5. So he plays b6. Well, now it's time for attack, so mm -hmm. g4, uh, he has to move the bishop as g5, his knight is stuck here, and I really don't know if uh, rook b8 is the is a better move or bishop b7, but uh, uh, one of the moves I think is rook so mm -hmm. I, I, I really don't remember, but uh, one of the most I can good. Mm -hmm. So you didn't prepare this specifically for today? Uh, no, no. <laughs> there are so many variations in uh, scan mm -hmm. engine and also look plays so many variations. It's uh, difficult to prepare uh, for everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I chose probably the most principled way to go to rook, to take the rook to h3 and then queen h5. Mm -hmm. So here he is stopping my queen h5 with g6 and uh, anyway I want to go to h4, bishop g7 and he has only knight of it and uh, normally h5 sort of moves uh, are bad for black in, this, in such positions mm -hmm. and queen f2 basically I went queen h4 and queen f2 to improve mm -hmm. the queen's position and I was uh, not sure where to put the rook on my rook on a1 to, to put it on b1 or f1 and uh, well both has its own advantages because rook d1 I sometimes I I intend to attack on d6 pawn and with rook f1 I'm mm -hmm. to it's a more aggressive move. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, rook f1 looked nice to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, knight b4. Um, the problem for uh, black here is that uh, he can't move this knight on d7 as the b6 pawn is uh, uh, hanging. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, I am threatening f5 here. Mm -hmm. e m5, I go knight d5 and queen h4. So then he can't move knight f8 because of uh, maybe I can bishop into b6 also. Mm -hmm. So that's my idea and uh, he plays knight b4. Now if I play f5, he takes e f5, e f5 and he exchange uh, my g2 bishop and, uh, and I think black is fine, mm -hmm. doing fine there. So I decided to exchange Mm -hmm. I think it's very logical here. And uh, um, well, also I am threatening bishop into g7 and queen d4, so I guess he has to take this. And knight d4. Um, I think he already thought for a very long time. No? Yes, because it's not easy to find a move for black as um, slowly white is threatening to play knight d1, knight e3, knight g4. Mm -hmm. This is the idea if black does nothing. And uh, in most of the variations when black plays e5, white has f5 mm -hmm. with the idea of f, g6 and, uh, and just make it. Just make, yeah. So it's not clear uh, to go knight c6 here or knight f8 and just to wait. But then after knight f8 I can simply go 
knight d1 with the idea knight e3. Mm -hmm. This is a very dangerous attack for So knight c6 might be the only move? Um, uh, at least I didn't find any uh, uh, good suggestion, I mean good move for black here. I thought it was, it is uh, interesting because he's ex it is, uh, ex trying to exchange mm -hmm. my knight on d4. And uh, here, I think f5 is, uh, well, I won't say good move, but it's, uh, I have, white has to play f5 in mm -hmm. order to uh, get something here. And, um, well, here if you take knight into d4, I take f into g6, and basically that's it, he, um, he can't defend this pawns. And if you play e f5, I go knight d5, queen d8, knight f5, mm -hmm. g f5, queen f5, and threatening to mate, knight f6, f8. Uh, well, here are many ways to win. <laughs> queen f7, g6 is probably winning, yeah. Queen f7, g6 is winning, and everything is winning. So, and here knight f8 is another move I consider. Here I can, I don't know, f6, yeah, f6, and he can take knight e6 because of knight d5. So he has to take f6 and I go rook f3. And I'm threatening mm -hmm. uh, rook, rook into f8 and take everything and mm -hmm. knight e6 mm -hmm. and knight c7. Yes. And uh, if you play knight d4 here, rook f7, Well, queen c5, queen g, queen, I guess, queen f6 is queen f5, no mate. Oh, I take this, so. I simply take this and with the idea of queen f7, queen g7, mm -hmm. and after this, I give queen f7 and rook f7. And here, so, so. he could play queen g7, but yeah, queen g7. But I can simply take knight into c6 and queen into b6. Mm -hmm. Just the pawn up. Just the pawn up. So his only move is probably knight c5. Knight c5, yeah. I think he played right. And here I I, I was thinking, uh, I was mainly considering rook uh, h7 and queen h4. Queen h4 is the move which I played. Mm -hmm. And rook h7 is very interesting because king h7, I go queen h4. Black has to go with king g8 and I go f6. Um, now queen h6 is coming, so... He has only two moves, knight g4 and knight f6, knight g4, I just uh, take the knight, queen c5, I go queen h4, d5, and rook f3, mm -hmm. and if you take knight f6, g f6, knight d7, queen h6, knight f6, rook f6, I and mean, I think white is much better mm -hmm. here, probably I should have chosen this knight in the game, but <laughs> I got very greedy and mm -hmm. played queen h4. You wanted a checkmate. I wanted a checkmate. <laughs> and I, I underestimated h5 move here because um, I mainly considered knight of 8 mm -hmm. f6 with the idea of queen yeah. h6, so he has to play the, the h4. No, who's the back Against Ooh, five, yes. I simply take 92-94 and I reach back. Black cannot stop this, mm -hmm. uh, all of it, this maneuver. But, it's fine. Uh, and I play 92. Mm -hmm. I think this is right. Okay, now... This is the critical moment. Critical yeah. moment. I think uh, he should take FE4, but... I you have think to be when a you computer, are yeah? yes, when you are playing, <laughs> because I can just show you briefly. Mm -hmm. Knight h5, g h5, queen h5. I
it's hard to uh, Even find a move for black. black. If I play black, I won't go for this uh -huh. line. <laughs> yeah, so we actually play this yes, move. So he has already, yeah. Sorry? Rookie 6. Rookie 6, okay, that's great. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see this move. Yeah, that's that's good to face. Yeah, but still, you have to have uh, some courage to play this at black, because there are well, still so much. Well, uh, maybe you can have the courage, but <laughs> to find rook six is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, well, after uh, he played king g seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's. If I take knight h5, then he has rook mm -hmm. h8, of course, and e f5, he takes bishop g2. Um, okay, king g2, queen c6. And my king is a little bit uh, exposed here, and uh, black has a couple of checks, mm -hmm. and I cannot escape this. So I decided to play knight cd5. I think I wanted to take the bishop first. So if it takes queen c2 directly, I have knight e3 and knight f5. Knight f5 and mm -hmm. again. Okay, bishop d5, knight d5. We could try queen c4. But I think you told me. Yeah, b3. Yes, b3. And then we. I took queen into c2 and well I think here it's always difficult for black and you know rook c8 it looks normal. Yeah. The computer has something. Yeah. No, this is the okay. So I thought knight mm -hmm. four to take knight h5 and six and eight. And um, I didn't see any other move apart from rook h8. Yeah, this uh, I think the computer suggested some of an ED8 or some, but um, it's already not uh, not good for black. Okay. So, yeah. so I take. Uh -huh. He has to take FG6, Knight G6. I have Knight H5. Mm -hmm. So FG6, Knight E6 check. If he goes King H7, Bishop E4. Mm -hmm. Queen. Yes, queen e2, I take bishop g6. If knight g6, rook f7, rook g7 is made. Mm -hmm. And king g6, I go knight f4 check. Mm -hmm. And if he goes king g8, I go queen f4. Mm -hmm. Well, it's bishop f7, rook h5 is one threat. And it's something on defense. Yeah. Rook f8 is not possible, so I just take one mm -hmm. and it's made. And uh, yeah, he went king g8, bishop d5. I'm threatening knight d4 check. And he played queen c2. And initially, I was thinking of rook d3 here. Uh, the point is, if you take knight into d3, um, knight d4 check, king somewhere, rook f7, king g8. Well, I can simply take the queen. I maybe there is mate. Okay, I thought I can simply mm -hmm. take the queen. So, um, but for rook d rook d three, he can take queen d three. Knight f four, king g seven, knight d three. No, knight f four, queen into d five. Mm -hmm. D5, King G7, and now it's hard to. Okay, if White White manages to get D6 pawn, then it's meaning for White. But if I go Queen B4, Rook C6, and it's not clear if I winning this pawn in mm -hmm. D6. Black Knight, Black Knight, and be no, able to uh, uh, from the position which I had, mm. this is already. Uh, you still wanted Mate. Yeah. Yes, and. Queen e4. Uh -huh. <coughs> Here, um, 
Okay, I am threatening knight c5 on knight d7. So he has only two moves, rook h7 and or rook c1. If you place rook h7, I thought this is his mm -hmm. last chance. Uh, and okay, he, he can get the exchange and go for some. Mm -hmm. I don't know, so some G5 board he can get. And um, he chose this um, book HF3. Uh, okay, here, if you place rook H7. Yes, knight of eight, right. Knight of eight and king. Okay, king g7 I can simply take and yes, king h8 I take this. Mm -hmm. And knight takes queen e8, yeah? Yes. But, okay, he gave me the chance to meet him. Oh, but at which point that you've seen that knight? Actually, I saw uh, before playing this move, mm -hmm. um, but once I played, uh, and then I realized uh, I uh, I kind of mixed some moves, and mm -hmm. then I was thinking, how did I find found the mate on G six? <laughs> and eventually, it came to yes, you because I was thinking I have to take queen G six here, but then oh, he has knight G six. Mm -hmm. No, actually, what did I? Why didn't I take this? No, probably this is also made. Yeah, this it is made. Okay. I don't know, I saw some made here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, queen g6 is also made. Knight g6, rook mm -hmm. f7, and rook g7. And, well, okay. King g6. Um, how do you feel about your tournament so far? Okay, I, I I won against uh, Anish, mm -hmm. and then I drew with Karwana probably a slightly better position mm -hmm. for Black for some part of the game, and then um, I I should have made a draw instead. I tried something, and I think I was very I was worse against Levon, mm -hmm. and uh, well yeah, against uh, Magnus it was a complicated game I thought. And uh, of course, I had uh, some chances to equalize uh, mm -hmm. against him. And today, well, I was happy that I won. Yes. Won the game after losing to mm -hmm. Magnus. So, uh, so far, I'm uh, happy the way it is going, and mm -hmm. uh, I hope to do well. Uh, did you set yourself any goals before the tournament? No, um, I I'm just playing. Uh, for next game. Mm -hmm. So it, it isn't that you just try to beat all the Dutchmen and... No, no, no. <laughs> I think... Uh, uh, no, that's not... Uh, One game at a time. Uh, yes, because, uh, okay, I got two whites uh, against them, so mm -hmm. it's not my mistake that I got uh, whites against mm -hmm. them. Okay. <laughs>